hello Joanne's fans <laughs> thank you for joining me today I will uh, start uh, the free classes again because after that holiday season and a lot of things so I'm happy to come back and uh, be with you hi everyone thank you for joining me <laughs> so uh, today I will uh, painting something easy and cute things for Valentine's days because it's coming soon and uh, the nail uh, salon is always busy by red and uh, drawing heart shapes and uh, things like that mm, and i think uh, i will do a couple heart uh, technique uh, during this uh, season however today i want to be a little bit of grinchy <laughs> grinchy mean had not the traditional heart like a cute lovely one i want to do a little bit like a tattoo style a little bit uh, lovely but same time a little bit sexy too so what about that what i will doing is uh, i already make a design something like that so the heart is like a necklace and like a little little devil <laughs> with little tail and horn and everything like that i will using flat art and a little bit 3d too and I promise that will be the easiest uh, way to do like handmade jewelry for the Valentine's days. Hi everyone. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I'm so happy with you guys again because it's long time. I'm not uh, uh, really often on the Instagram as a live videos. So I promise I will continue <coughs> from now. So uh, the customer have uh, the pink and white classic but of course you can do any other color I'm just using that color because I know the camera is most of the time doesn't help us as tutorial for example like a rose what I painted uh, to show to someone is doesn't uh, really visible because the background is black or visible Right now, yeah, because I, I keep closed, but uh, whatever. By this reason, I will use the pink and white, <coughs> but that design will be super cute on black base too, okay? So the uh, customer um, service is almost ready. She got the cover pink, which is the 100, uh, the ballerina pink, my favorite, the 153. And I used the, the white because it's flat, it's gel polish. I use the art white. To make the smile line and cure it and buff so the surface is matte okay to drawing i will using uh silver of the embossing which is the baroque silver and you will need i just grab my perfect line okay so always when i drawing heart shape as i always mention to you guys do not make the proper as the first time okay because uh, if you have to correct thing, that mean the design will be bigger okay so always try to do a smaller and going out line if you need correcting don't forget it the customer nail surface is not a flat drawing on the flat surface is different than drawing on the 3d surface okay the customer nail surface is curved this direction and curved this direction why is it important because if I want do like a jewelry into the center the customer want to see uh, without moving the finger right or especially not the customer the customer will move around okay anyone else in the co-workers friends they want immediately see the design without curving okay so again if you draw uh, planning to do this shape or this size of the heart please calculate if you do on the nail it's already it doesn't see it's a heart that makes sense so always calculate the size one more things and you must have to trust me if not you will learn on the longer way but anyway you will got it <clears throat> so if you do the symmetrical things like a heart is a symmetrical shape okay I do strongly recommend to start one part, other part, left side, right side, left side, right side. And when is 
almost ready, I going over it. Why? Because if I doing the right side perfectly, as just your brain and your eye will not producing 100% symmetrically same at the uh, left side, okay? This is why amazing in Egypt, the Sphinx, because how they did the Sphinx face, it's 100% symmetrical, which is something wow, <laughs> because it's not easy. So let's painting the heart, okay? Doesn't have to be perfectly, beautifully sharp line, because I will use the stats and I will use different gel on the top, okay? That is just time um, for drawing. I start from left and start from left, okay, and drawing the side and drawing the side down because that is higher again and continue that side. continue that side mm -hmm. I like to working with uh, gel more than acrylic painting because always you can wipe it off if you feel it's like too big okay again that just the base shape to me honestly the heart will be in the center Okay, I'm drawing through again because it's embossing. I don't want uh, to raise up. So if you go over it, it's make more smooth and flat for sure because I don't want the 3D of that. Here we are. Okay. And I already do the little horny things. I will cover that so that is just a pre-designing. Here we are. Not too big because it's still cute and lovely. I do not want like evilly one is the cute cartoon version of the okay. Both little horn is go this direction is curving this direction okay and of course need some kind of tail okay and i turn back because it's small nail is just finished like that okay that will be the little and I do the end of the tail which is like a arrowhead shape okay I do pointing a little bit Okay, dokie. So let's cure it. Till that cure, I can see if you guys have any question till so far. Again, I will painting on on everything. So that have to be fast. You don't have to stress that to be perfect <coughs> because I will using uh, miniature uh, studs, Japanese studs, because that will be like a tattoo, like metallic style. I will using definitely the full diamond to make diamond heart and I will using the liquid silver which is the absolutely necessary things to do like metal effect and my favorite one the optic uh, scarlet color which is like a super super duper the true red. I used on that nails too. I painted with white and I just one thin layer I coated with 
the optic so you can see the color okie dokie so now right now i applying the full diamond which is that one and i'm calling my fine shader to apply on the top that will be like a jewelry so it's a big uh, kind of big impressive design okay i applied the whole quantity but i will pull it because it's not 3d okay it's have to be flat so the whole i will pull it to the other side too do not apply too much is absolutely not necessary you just waste the gel because it's flat gel and super duper coverage and just only one things have that make a super reflexive uh, bling bling effect even if you coating with the highly pigmented transparent gel okay and just flattening down make sure everywhere is covered i just will grab my uh, glasses because i forget it you know it's long time already and the reflection it just makes me totally blind so I hope I cover it everywhere till that and after I will grab so here we are right now right now it's a little bit looks big okay but again I will add the metal uh, part on the surface so my glass is on I see again <laughs> so the heart will be definitely smaller at the end you can drawing on any uh, any design what you want i did already uh, multiple version you can see back on uh, my youtube channel because have like uh, locker with heart like key with heart or <coughs> different version for inspiration i just want to showing how you can use those uh, effect what you will see <coughs> So, let's see. <coughs> I will using the optic right now. On the heart. So I place it on, you see how amazing? It's already like the most beautiful red ever. Okay, again, you don't have to be stressed out the shape because the metal as uh, japanese starts will going on and will hide it i do just approximately and after i calling my teeny tiny brush the fine shader to make sure i coat it properly everywhere so i mean exactly Mm -hmm. don't go here we are I just add a little on the brush because I want to make sure everywhere I coat but I do not going out so much here we are and right now because I just press down the brush to make sure uh, I add extra no worry the gel going just over the wet gel so when i paint it this is why i use the fine shader isn't it so amazing already you can do any kind of design with that it's just so freaking amazing i think so especially the scarlet all optic gel is just amazing with that technique but the scarlet is just a uh, holy moly holy guacamole here we are okay and i tell you it's still flat just because the full diamond give that uh, deepness that dimensional and the reflection looks like it's a uh, 3d already so let's cure it thank you you love it <laughs> it's just again i do right now this kind of uh, 
design but you can do any kind of design with that so always when i'm teaching i'm, I'm teaching how to create uh, some kind of effect and the full diamond is super super rich and if you want a super rich and dimensional reflection uh, always use the full diamond <coughs> And if you want coloring, just tint it with uh, the optic gel. The optic gel is the best for tinting because uh, make more three-dimensional optical effect than any other jelly gel. <coughs> okay, so and I will using because somehow have to be like a necklace. Okay, so if you're doing necklace version, you can just simply use the the Japanese studs of this okay it's just save time that is the stat 54 of course I have different uh, size of that and of course yes I will use definitely and I will use you can painting and drawing the necklace but you know what i just use the the stats for uh, 45 <coughs> which is make uh, make easier to me so at that point i will using this precision little uh, guy the tweezer because to fix on the surface i i will using the gem gel gem gel is crystal clear and cure to shiny so even if you don't coating i will coating partially the design the, even if you don't coating you can just leave it as is so i will pick up just gentle like minimal uh, i touch it okay because i will put it into the gel totally the bottom is coated with gel I waiting the little guy the little line is shrinking back and I place on the surface okay here we are and the little I fix on the surface press down but do not press down too much okay because I won't have underneath still have the gel because that will keep on the nail surface uh, to secure it okay and flash curing my little flashlight is not here but not a problem just flash curing and again coming the other part this little guy I doing same press into when, when I press in and I leave with a little little line okay that little tail you have to wait into shrinking back to avoid to create like unnecessary uh, style something line okay and I put back on the position because it's a necklace so you see I just save time it all of that and will be really impressive metallic okay the heart is not ready it doesn't show doesn't give justice yet okay i just build up step by step to save the curing times so i do not make everything at the same time so one more thing i want the little tail and the little uh, horn a uh, little bit raised up so by uh, by this reason i calling again the gem gel I going deep inside okay because first I doing the line that is the little tail what I tell you so when you remove wait till uh, shrinking back totally okay so I put it here and pull it I do not want to take down too much this is why I just I will adjust the shape but right now I just let set on the surface touch down and pull it I 
and to here too. I'm going through over. This is why I needed to draw because the transparent you will not see what you are you draw drawing definitely. Okay, I do that at the first. Okay, I do not continue till the proper because I want dimensional shape into it. Okay, I just go back make more 3D mm -hmm. if you feel you're drawing out just wipe it back okay this way mm -hmm. and you know what I made I don't uh, wash the brush so it's a little bit reddish from the optic gel, I just wipe it back. Okay, so go into the light, flash curing, and I will continue the little tail. Really just flash curing. <coughs> okay, because we have here one more. And here one more. Flash cure and the end of the tail, the little arrowhead dish, kind of. And... Here we are. One, and two. I pull it back because I need that way more wider. Mm -hmm. Go into the lamp. I just wipe it on the paper. How are you guys? How is your holiday season? <laughs> it's difficult to come back to work again. But I, because all nail tech, I do remember how always the, the holiday season is the, always the busiest season in the salon life. And everybody is pretty and nice and look great. And I always going under the <laughs> Christmas tree like a, like a really, really used person. <laughs> and uh, the January is to me is something like, like more, more relaxed because everybody is relaxed. So I'm using the liquid silver. So how are you? Till I can see some comment if you are with me. I just make a droplet out of the bottle because I always like. Yes, I come back on uh, live videos uh, as often as I can. Just I'm really busy and a lot of going on. So sometimes it's just, but you know, I always posting new videos on the YouTube channel. So if you feel missing the lessons or missing the inspiration, you just go to the YouTube channel because I'm, I'm always posting new and generally I have a lot of the, the old ones too. And if you never see, it will be new to you too. It's like almost 200 videos. So I just add a little horny. You see it's the 3D already. And because that is already gel, so that little guy is doesn't dry on the air. Must have to cure under the light, and that makes smoothening the surface. If you made like little boo boo or whatever, just don't worry about. You see how little horny is like a liquid metal. I just try to focusing on that and because of gel if you messed up because the customer moving or you don't uh, see uh, 
properly something on the shine you can always wash off that is the another benefit instead of painting with uh, any aquarelle or acrylic painting okay of course if you have a longer surface that make more convenient to paint the tail but I painting on the short is because on the salon life most of the customer want short nails we are both sides of the nails so I want help to my nail sisters who who doing short nails right so here we are Mm. Okay, go into the lamp. Have to cure. And I continue. I just using alcohol and remove the the liquid silver gel from my brush. Okay, so again, with that you can do drawing any kind of metallic uh, things. I have like rose painted, I have uh, mm, multicolor uh, square work on my youtube it's just super cool it's fully metallic <coughs> you must have to coating of course of any gel like any kind of chrome must have to be coated <coughs> usually if it's teeny tiny i'm just uh, drawing through with uh, the glue gel pen because have a brush and i just brush on the surface if it's full surface kind just coating with top coat simple okay and it's coming the ini mini guys lot of lot of amazing uh, uh, things we have on the on the website especially i will do the collection of valentine inspiration and we will give a deal i will announce it soon or you can always see the post on instagram so here we are and right now we add the little uh, part to the the heart okay so to do that I will need again the gem gel okay it's non wipe this is why it's so good and keep deadly secured on the surface even Swarovski or metal uh, Japanese stats or this kind of things So I just drawing on. I try to do like same quantity everywhere. I applying and I will going over the surface. This way I can pull it from one side to the other if somewhere is just too much. Okay, and that will make contouring the heart. Okay, that is like a little tattoo style. I just think it's like everybody drawing and show the lovely, cute, pink, romantic version. But you know what? Not everyone got lucky <laughs> for this time. Uh, and, uh, and that can be like, like, or more closer to her or to make special designs so maybe someone just right now because of your design we have got the new love find the new love because the guys will really love is three-dimensional and metal guys love metals okay don't forget it we love the plush and any other material but guys love metals so no matter what is the reason, if your customer wants something sexier than the classic cutie one, I do recommend to do this design. Okay, one more thing here, missing the connection, so I just add a droplet, a little bit wider than the droplet. So I just press down. <coughs> here we are. And 
oh not that one this one I using the pickup wax stick and I start build up and that give the final look to the whole design looks like she got the metal uh, you know like furnitures they using the metal part too I don't know in English okay I think I already touched the wax stick so that way not so easy to leave it a little starts because it's super tiny and super fat what is different that that those are flat or you can use the metal ball but those are three-dimensional so if you used on the small design I do recommend the size four or six of the metal balls because will be too too large the other size okay I will move around when I apply it right now I just place it on approximately and with that hand I just you see you can reshape the always because I won't have throwing out the heart shape definitely how bright I just see how bling back the red and the full diamond really looks like uh, a multi-dimensional and it's still flat just optically looks like it's 3d so it's again it's a gel polish manicure you can drawing on don't necessarily the big acrylic uh, extension nail and how big you drawing is depending on the nail surface I try to do big as possible to make sure everyone see well <coughs> But you can do bigger if the nail is bigger or smaller if she have a smaller nail surface. <coughs> so let's adjust to the shape. Here we are. <coughs> and we are almost done. Finished. See? And just add teeny tiny to everywhere. Go back. Please go back. Mm -hmm. I just placed upside down. And that is not how I wished. So I needed to remove. Oh guys, I don't know you guys started uh, doing the promises what you don't do this year or what you don't eat anymore this year. I just stopped promise, but generally I already started change a lot of things in my life just because I try to love myself more and make let my body more healthier and uh, feeding my soul with things what I doesn't let me to do because always everything is more important so I started reading book I'm eating more salad listening music even if I feel no time for that right now I just let it enjoy a little bit more myself <coughs> so I hope you guys add something to the new year as promise you love yourself more and don't forget it if you are love yourself that means you are happier you can give more happiness more much more happiness to others because you have more energy so first of all make pampering yourself with something what you feel is makes you happy but not just a chocolate ice cream okay sweetheart because that is makes you happy I know but after when summer is coming it's just like <laughs> you know what I mean it's good sometimes need that one too I really love chocolate ice cream honey and I'm baking for example tomorrow I will baking the uh, the cheese 
like a, for, uh, like a cheesecake style of the uh, strudel same like apple strudel just have a cheesecake inside so yeah that is part to pampering myself but same time I thinking like more doing more things but usually you don't let uh, to yourself mm, you know what I just put place it back to here Mm -hmm. I'm not sure in the center. Yeah, I will do that. Just a little bit. Let's see how it looks like. Mm -hmm. There's some micro balls. Mm hmm. Just try to see how I can finishing more better to drawing out the hearty shape. And the micro ball, that is a number six size. It's helped me to finish the shape like hearty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because that like kind of jewelry. Right? Just a teeny tiny. I'm using that for curving to make the heart, heart is curved. So make sure is I finishing properly. But even the metal studs is too big size. So I add a teeny tiny micro metal balls don't worry uh, that metal ball will never fade because it's 100 percent metallic it's not painted like a glass and painted to silver it's metal if you put the magnet next to it mm -hmm, you will see mm -hmm. and here and here okay and of course mm, come back okay. I just finished the jewelry like they are connected because I placed the little gem gel they will stay on here we are okay let's uh, check the shape if everything looks all right put it in I close the little jars <laughs> make sure it doesn't pour out and only one thing is the little heart I will add the little dome if you want to make 3d because again just looks like 3d it's not 3d it's still flat so for this you can use the top shine if you want a really uh, thin or you can use builder if you want higher and they coating the whole surface because had matte before You remember I don't told you uh, the liquid silver have to be coated to anyway. So the little heart. I do not going over the the studs is not necessary. First of all because it's textured, and I love it. Second because uh, because I use the gem gel which is cured to shiny. So by this reason, I don't have to. Mm 
mm -hmm. coating the whole surface including the front and the sides and here we are this is the little guy on the short nail okay so I hope you guys got inspiration and uh, I can't wait to see your jewelry honestly the full diamond is give that kind of 3d uh, brightness it's not than other any other kind of uh, glittery things so it's just a big wow the scarlet optic gel is make every red like a beautiful ruby okay like like the best red ever and uh, i strongly recommend always using metal accessories if you want uh, the liquid silver <coughs> to use always don't forget it with coating and it's make uh, like really cute metal feeling metal style so i hope you guys love it see you in the next week uh, don't forget it love each other ciao